make them run, but they can't hide. That's right. Rural areas and unpatrolled farmland have become the new breeding grounds for meth labs, and these new hiding places are being fought the old-fashioned way. Knox County Sheriff Steve Luce saddles up his horse, cinches up the girth, and rides out. Sometimes you have to go back in time. I mean, uh, um, and you, ha you have to be creative to fight some of the problems we have uh, in Knox County. Knox County has the second largest methamphetamine problem in the state of Indiana. That means more people are making meth with more places to hide it. They're setting up where there's now a lot of uh, uh, community people uh, in, in that area. Lou says this campaign on horseback has been successful. We want to get them running scared. We, we want to let them know we're coming after them. The horses are quiet and they'll go just about anywhere a car or a four-wheeler can't. In the past six months, they've helped the sheriff's department find almost 20 meth labs like this one. Deputies believe is still working and still dangerous. Everything is so flammable and, and these um, um, scientists who they, they say think are chemists, uh, they have no idea what risks they're taking even if they're cooking outside or inside the, the, uh, the possibility of uh, you know some type of explosion or fire happening. Despite the danger, Sheriff Luce continues to fight western ways with western means. After all, holding the reins does beat pushing a pencil. You know, I get to go out and do the job that I promised to do when I was elected, and that was to be a working sheriff and, and, and try new things and have a vision for Knox County, and this is part of that vision.